Warriors. I hope everybody is well. This morning I share another cup of coffee with you. It's been a ride, sweetheart. Okay, guys, today, now, if you're not familiar with burning a fire pit or a fireplace, please get someone that knows how to do it. That's my disclaimer. Now, when we come home and we've checked out what these demonic witches have done to our home, we skip the fact that they would touch our clothes. Well, a few months ago, I checked out this video and this other witch was bragging about how they uh, tamper with clothing. Well, they tamper with clothing to annoy you. Oh, I got a string. I got a hole in my shirt. My shirts, two of them, had many holes. I blamed the moths. Yeah, I did. And now, the other day, I looked at them and I said, these are not moths. These are witches. These witches stabbed me in the back several times. Pretty much everywhere in this shirt had holes. Why this shirt, and these were like specific holes that a moth, as you know, a moth will keep biting. And it'd be a very, uh, it wouldn't even be an even cut. These cuts were slices and rips. You must burn the witch away. That is the message. I took the item and I burned the items that they tampered with. And I burned them in my fireplace. I felt so good. I honestly feel this is the way to go when they touch your clothing. I just like people touching me when I don't know you. So if you touch me and I don't like it, what makes you think I would want you to touch my clothing? That is just the way highly sensitive people are. We're not touchy-feely people. We've learned you can't touch everyone. You can't hug everyone. You're going to capture their, their essence. That's just the way it is. So I just, I always keep my distance. So the best advice for me to you is don't let them touch you, baby. Burn it away. Warriors, I'm here for you, and I'll be back.